Mod Probe is a Linux program originally written by Rusty Russell and used to add a loadable kernel module to the Linux kernel or to remove LKM from the kernel. It is commonly used indirectly. RDOV relies upon Mod Probe to load drivers for automatically detected hardware. As of 2014, Mod Probe is distributed as part of the software package Mod. It was previously developed as Module Init Tools for Linux kernel version 2.6 and later. Mod Utils for use with Linux versions 2.2x and 2.4x. Operation The Mod Pro program offers more full featured Swiss Army knife features than the more basic INS Mod and RMMOD utilities, with the following benefits an ability to make more intuitive decisions about which modules to load, an awareness of the module dependencies, so that when requested to load a module, Mod Pro adds other required modules first. The resolution of recursive module dependencies is required, if invoked with no switches, the program by default adds installs the named module into the kernel. Root privileges are typically required for these changes. Any arguments appearing after the module name are passed to the kernel. In some versions of modprobe, the configuration file is called modprobe.conf, and in others the equivalent is the collection of files called in the modprobe.d directory. Features the Mod Pro program also has more configuration features than other similar utilities. It is possible to define module aliases allowing for some automatic loading of modules. When the kernel requires a module, it actually runs Mod Pro to request it. However, the kernel has a description of only some module properties, and Mod Pro does the job of translating that to an actual module name via aliases. This program also has the ability to run programs before or after loading or unloading a given module. For example, setting the mixer right after loading a sound card module, or uploading the firmware to a device immediately prior to enabling it. Although these actions must be implemented by external programs, Mod Probe takes care of synchronizing their execution with module loading unloading. Blacklist there are cases where two or more modules both support the same devices, or a module invalidly claims to support a device. The blacklist keyword indicates that all of a particular module's internal aliases are to be ignored. There are a couple of ways to blacklist a module, and depending on the method used to load it depends on where this is configured. There are two ways to blacklist a module using modprobe, employing the modprobe conf system. The first is to use its blacklisting system in modprobe D blacklist. Cat modprobe D blacklist, blacklist E1394, blacklist OHCI1394, blacklist E1394, blacklist SBP2. An install primitive is the highest priority in the config file and will be used instead of the blacklisting method above, requiring the second method. Cat modprobe D1394. Install EOE 1394 true, install OHCI 1394 true, install ETH 1394 true, install SBP2 true. Alternately, you can modify mod probe conf. Alias sub module null, alias module main null, options module main needed option equals zero. See also, LSMOD. References. External links, mod probe man page. Mod probe conf modules dep